Bom dia, tudo bem? Hope you guys are fine. I'm so sorry, I don't know why. Something was making me laugh before I came here. So, you can still see the, the radiance of my laughter, or from my laughter, coming into this video right now. Anyway, good morning. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to my channel. My name is Adese, or Daisy, whatever you want to call me. Um, for those of you that are just coming across me for the first time, that's my name. And for those of you that have uh, always watched me, thank you so much for joining me today. And um, yeah, so today we're going to be talking about how you can uh, get your food basket, what we call food basket or food box, uh, as an immigrant in Brazil. All right, so Brazil is a country very big. When I mean big, grunchy, like huge, large, great on humanitarian work okay especially when it comes to immigrants even to their citizens they are extremely kind okay so i used to say uh my the most common thing for me to say about brazil is brazil is very kind i don't want to say brazilians are very kind because not everybody's kind you know no matter how good a country is something must be wrong somewhere you know if you a couple of people here and there might be might be cuckoo in the head so uh, that's why i choose to say brazil brazil is kind not all brazilians are kind or brazil brazilians are kind i don't want to make it like everyone is so kind so you don't come here thinking everyone is so kind yeah majority of them are kind and that they are always very kind to foreigners okay that's the fact all right so let's get right into how you can um get your food basket different ways you can get your food basket or food box like the color here as an immigrant as a refugee a refugee is an immigrant right anyway so um these are the ways you can get your food basket in brazil as an immigrant now the idea for brazil giving these things to immigrants is to make life easy for them to welcome them to make them settle to help them settle well in brazil is where you will see where they organize free portuguese language classes for foreigners for all immigrants okay in Brazil is where you will see where they make sure that you get transportation to go to your for, uh, language school and come back. In Brazil is where you're going to see that they will provide you with food and items for you to settle well in the country. All right. So Brazil is very accepting of people. They are very kind and they really are very big on helping people settle down in their country. And how do you pay them back? You pay them back, first of all, by not committing crimes. You pay them back by not behaving badly in their country. Follow the rules. And most importantly, or maybe one of the most important things, is to make sure you learn the language. Because it is a huge way to respect them. Anywhere in the world, wherever you go, they give you, you know, they welcome you into any country and they speak a certain type of language. The highest respect you can give to them is to learn the language so that you, they know that you are willing to be part of them. And they, in return, will be so happy to accept you because they see that you have learned your language. It means you want to be a part of them and then they welcome you so well. All right. So that is very important. So let's dive right into what we have to say today. Now, these are the ways you can get your food box. OK, so when you get to Brazil, the first thing is to try to find a way, try to find a way to. To, to be legal. Okay, let's assume a lot of people do commit this crime anyway. I call it a crime because it is wrong, absolutely wrong to come into somebody's country with a tourist visa and stay in their country. It is wrong, okay? But unfortunately, we all do it. We are very guilty of that fact. So I'm just going to talk about it anyway. Um, so uh, if you come into the country, let's say with a tourist visa and all of that stuff, you need to find a way to be legal, all right? And uh, ways to do that is either by seeking asylum and then you get your asylum ID card, you get a temporal uh, uh, residence permit, temporal, okay? A situation whereby you're waiting for the asylum decision. And then if they decide good for you, if they decide well that, okay, we feel that you deserve this, then lucky you, they grant you permanent residency. And if not, you have to keep appealing or whatever the case might be. Or some people find other ways to shift or to move from asylum being an asylum seeker, to permanent residence. There are other ways to do it, having a baby, getting married, blah, 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 all those ways. Then you move from being a, being a temporary asylum hold ID holder to permanent residency, through marriage or having a child, okay? So let's assume you have an asylum, temporary ID card, or you are your own student visa, any type of residency is a residency. 
that you can use why i'm clamoring on this fact is because to have access to all this tiny luxuries here and there you have to be legal because somehow they would always ask for your documento your documento documents like id card cpf all these type of things you need them even if you go to any organization the first thing they will ask you is documento so they don't want to know how you got the documento the most important thing for just have a document okay whether it's asylum or whether it's student student um, visa or student residency whether it is permanent residency through your baby through your your marriage just have a document that is when you will enjoy all this luxury that brazil has to offer okay you don't have you cannot be illegal and then think and want to benefit from all this you know um uh, uh, all these uh, beautiful things being provided by this amazing country now so having talked about documentation we move to how or where places where you can get all these things on now in brazil there are organizations that help people settle well in brazil you have uh, um, organizations like cry adus um characters i keep mentioning all these things because these are the people that helped me for example when i came to brazil i was I went straight from Sao Paulo. I spent one night in Sao Paulo. I moved to Sao Rio de Janeiro. In Rio de Janeiro was where I I went to Caritas in Rio de Janeiro. And that was where I seeked my asylum. So they helped me with everything. So you need to look for these organizations in your city. It's the same thing in Sao Paulo. Now I live in Sao Paulo. And it's also the same thing. You have to find them. So these organizations are squarely focused on immigrants. They help immigrants to do everything. Like they help you seek your asylum. You don't need to do anything. Just provide them with your passport, blah, blah, blah. Sit down there. They will help you tell your story. You tell your story and then da, 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 done. And then they book your appointment. You go to the policy of federal, blah, 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 blah. Before you know, you have your asylum ID card. And as time goes on, you feel you want to get married, you get married, move from being asylum to permanent residency. Or you have a baby. Luckily, maybe you're here with your husband. Luckily for you, boom, you guys have a baby and then you change to permanent residence. Or if you want to wait for your asylum decision, it's also okay. In Brazil, with an asylum ID card, you can go to school, you can open a bank, you can do anything like any citizen. Any permanent residence or that you can do anything. You have your free life. Nothing stops you from achieving anything like a citizen would be able to. Okay, so now, like I mentioned, I talked about Adus, I talked about Caritas, I talked about... Uh, CIC, CIC also, I've used them when I was in Sao Paulo. I do so as well, one or two things here and there. So these people, when you go to them, it's organized, they cry as well. When you go to these organizations, they help you a whole lot. In these organizations, you can register with them to get you, to, to register your name for food basket every month. So they will call upon you every month to get your food basket. In a case where these organizations do not function well, or help you very well in that regard. They help you in many things. Sometimes there might be a flip flop, flip, flip flop here and there when it comes to food basket with these organizations. But the main, main place you can get your food basket, you need to register yourself with a CRAS. There is a bigger government social uh, center where you can go, it's called CRAS. There is a CRAS or CRASSES in every neighborhood in any city in Brazil. You need to go to the class to register yourself as somebody who is willing to come get food basket every month. See, you do not need to be ashamed of anything. As long as you know you need this food, you are, um, you want to manage your life or, you know, just manage what you have, your finances and everything. I don't see any shame in anything. Okay. As for me, I have to move, I have to take a bus from my place to the cross, one bus, but I always get reluctant to go to the to, to the cross. So I get very reluctant. So I usually do not go to the cross to get food. But luckily for me, recently I joined a new church, like say two, three months ago, and my church supplies as well. So you have social centers in different organizations. The church can have their own, your university can have their own. And all these organizations I mentioned, characters that center on immigrants themselves, you can get through them. Even the crust can help you. So all you need to do, but remember I told you, you must be properly documented. Go register yourself. The surest way to get your food basket every month is by registering yourself in the crust. 
go to the cross that is the every city every um neighborhood every neighborhood in any city has a cross there is no way if you go to rio de janeiro there's a cross in my, any neighborhood you find yourself, there's a cross. If you move to another neighborhood, there's a cross. So you have to go to the cross to tell them, I need food every month. In my building, I see a lot of Africans, a lot of Brazilians going to the cross to get food. They have that time. I, I don't have the time. And again, I don't eat that much. Okay? So I don't eat that much and I don't have a big family. So if you keep taking and taking and taking and taking, I will just continue to have excess of things. But most importantly, the reason I'm not going to cross is because I have to take transportation to the cross in my neighborhood and I don't want to go. Okay, so that is the main reason why I don't go to the cross. But luckily for me, my church, I started this church and they, they supplied me first time, they supplied me second time. And every time they keep asking me, do you need food? Do you need, I don't need food. It's okay. I don't see any point why I should keep taking and taking and taking when the one in my house has not finished. I eat very slow. My family eats very slow. We don't eat so much. So what is the point of taking and taking? Although some people take and then sell things they don't need. Like me, I have excess pack of sugar everywhere. Excess um, coffee everywhere. So they sell them. But what is the point of me taking and taking and selling? I don't have that time. And I don't see why I should take excess. I leave it for them to give to people that need them. And then when I really, really need, I can go to say I need. Do you understand? So there is no point being greedy about it. Anyway, my church is there also. They supply food box, a uh, food basket or food box. And then recently I started my Portuguese school and I got to my Portuguese school, which is already free. They provide us with transportation, free transportation, fair money. And then on top of that, they told us we will be giving you food basket again. Oh my goodness. I'm like, oh, what? Food everywhere. Like food, 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 food everywhere. I'm like, anyway, so every month my, my, my Portuguese school also gives us food basket. Food. That is why I told you that Brazil is very big, very, very big on, on charity. Very, very big on helping people. So anyway, for me not to make this video too long, the best way to register for your food basket, food box, food basket, whatever, is by registering yourself at the cross, your cross in your neighborhood. And make sure you always go there. They will let you know when you have to come every month to get your pack of food okay it's a mixture of different types of variety of food beans rice this da 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 they combine everything to get essentials things that are important that people eat every day they put it together and then they give to people they give to citizens they give to residents they give to immigrants they give to everybody so register yourself today if you know you are in need of food every month and you can actually save uh, whatever money that you have okay thank you so much for watching there is absolutely no shame in asking for help if you ask me, in my opinion, there is no shame in asking for help. If you need help, ask for it. But should you be greedy in the process of, process of asking for help? No. Do not be greedy. Take when you need it. If you don't need it, let it be so they can actually give it to other people that need it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, drop me your comments in the comment section below. If you also have questions for me, put it down in the comment section below. I will be absolutely ready to respond to you. Thank you again. Have an amazing day, everybody. Bye-bye.